Welcome, Augusto Giron. Take a kingdom. The Bible says to us that in Hebrews 11.33, that people of faith, they overcame kingdoms. Now, if you watch Christianity today, it seems that darkness is overtaking the church. Look the United States. Look a virus. Look communi communism. Look poverty. Look sickness. Look disease. Look the family. But the Bible explained to us in Hebrews 11 that we can overtake kingdoms. We can subdue kingdoms. Now, the word we find here in Hebrew is a very interesting word because it means to subdue. It is a contest against an adversary. And we know that we have an adversary, which is Satan, the devil. But faith then is this fight, is this struggle, is this contention that we have against the forces of evil. And we need to rise up and to look forward believing that through our weapons of warfare, we can overcome and subdue. I, for instance, in the United States, I don't understand, or in England, Canada, I do not understand how the church is not participating in the politics of their nation because it's gonna go worse if people do nothing. You see, in order to overcome a kingdom, the Bible tells us about David. Look, David, he overtook kingdoms. And I find that Gideon and the other people, the prophets, in order to do this, we must have what I call the three C's. We want to be cunning, smart. Cunning, I know, is not very well used in the English language, but really that's the word that I would like to use. We need to be smart. Smarter than serpents, all right? This is what I want to say. So we want to be cunning, smart, we want to have courage, and we want to have commitment. Why? Because this is a dispute, it's a contention. We are in the court of human life and we are fighting against the forces of darkness. So if you want to take the kingdom of heaven, you want to be forceful, you want to be violent, you want to be proactive, you want to be someone who rises up and believes and to prepare. You want to put the armor of God and you want to be, hey, this match is no greater to me because through my faith, through the weapons that I have, I can overcome. You see, it's not difficult, my dear friends, to understand that Jesus Christ has asked us to go to the world and to preach the gospel to all nations. And that's why I feel so sorry for the for the United States, where I study, I live more than nine years of my life. England, I was there for 11 years, and I feel so sorry because the church is missing out the purpose. They have not been able to establish a kingdom of God in those nations. They have not participated in politics, and this is the price they're gonna pay. People are gonna run those countries and they are gonna destroy those countries if they do not rise up and do something about it. The church has become so comfortable and that's a sin. So you rise up as a princess, as a son of God, rise up and take your kingdom and the kingdom 
of your city, take our word for Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. You are my joy. Until next time.